We come again, friends, uh, brothers and sisters in the holistic art of Dubukan, Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, also outside the country. I'm hoping you are doing well and everything is uh, going fine wherever you are. Welcome, this live conference is intended for energy healing, divine healing, distant energy healing, and the divine illumination of the watch, divine revelation. Their activities are of the Supreme Master of Wisdom, Supreme Super Light Angels, bridging divine radiance to the entire humanity. More power everyone, and I'm really hoping you're in good health wherever you are in the planet. So this uh, live conference is uh, our energy healing, distant divine energy healing. So prepare your glass of water, and we are going to include the blessings for the water. So the water will become living water of life that can heal illnesses. My warmest regards uh, to all the practitioners of the Dugokran Holistic Art in this chapter. And more power. And as we go over this uh, and uh, exercises of the Holistic Art of uh, Dugokran. Development of our body, mind, soul, and spirit. Highlighting activities of mysterious lights manifesting the skies. Anywhere we are in the world. So, mysterious lies, and then the common people describe unidentified flying objects or extraterrestrials, uh, the presence of higher beings in the planet. And then I'm saying in the Watch of the Revolution, we're talking about mysterious lies, and we refer it to the Supreme Super Light Angels, angels coming from the most high from the light of the supreme infinite and in the actual arts and science of physical and spiritual fitness we are going to get to know more of this uh, angels we're describing supreme super light so in the actual arts and science of physical and spiritual fitness so we have the holistic exercise holistic arts and uh, inspiring the brothers and sisters uh, to keep up the fire of spirit in the way of doing physical and spiritual exercises so inner discovery so we have the seven steps of inner discovery and i'm enumerating the seven steps of inner discovery more of the time we have already so this uh, conference like this because um, that's really important for our spiritual development today nowadays uh, as uh, energies are really expanding and it's difficult if we cannot understand the energies uh, going on in our surroundings because uh, we need to balance uh, the body mind soul and spirit and when it comes to never uh, able to discern the energies uh, lingering or the energies activating now in the entire planet and then that would result to energy imbalance and energy imbalance will, will cause this harmony this harmony of our body mind soul and spirit so people experiencing illnesses and uh, losing inner stillness deep within because of the energy imbalance so let's read off energy imbalance by the wing holistic art let's uh, practice uh, art of life 172 and this exercise is released from the guidance of uh, the Supreme Master of Heaven, Supreme Super Light Angels. The reason why we are going to share the lessons of angels' contact and connection for the brothers and sisters uh, to activate divine connection. So meaning when you are going to perform your exercise in Art of Life 172, you can activate your energies. You can activate the energy centers in your physical body. Therefore, you can enhance your frequency from minor vibrational frequency into advanced vibrational frequency. So it's an energy healing, natural way of healing the problems of our physical body. As we cannot really complete the healing of our physical body, we just mere applying the material procedure and then uh, we have to apply as well the spiritual foundation. Today's uh, time will need to know the highest foundation of uh, life which refers to the spiritual foundation so welcome everyone in this live conference and let's get to know more about 
our holistic art, our exercises, uh, and from time to time, uh, are we going to keep up the vigor of our spirit and against all the trials in life, uh, we are always uh, victorious. So we are not the losers of time. We are always victorious because we are going to enhance our spiritual martial arts. And let's uh, get to know more about Mr. Yes Lights Manifesting the Skies. And it's uh, exciting to know Mr. Yes Lights Manifesting the Skies as there are now various sightings of mysterious lights around the world and people got amazed of uh, mysterious lights that's why they are describing it into unidentified flying objects and uh, also referring the phenomenon in, the, in some biblical verse the coming near of and end of time wherein mysterious lights uh, angels are going to manifest in the skies and there are so many versions of this uh, uh, theme pertaining to mysterious lies when it comes to the understanding of the people was uh, are what are those um, mysterious lies manifesting the skies so we have these activities and there was a divine revelation wherein we are going to share the message of spiritual awakening to all the brothers and sisters in the way of holistic art so welcome everyone and joining with us in this live conference right now Maribig Amit Brahmi of India chapter. Good afternoon po, SJMPS 172. Yes, uh, Maribig, good afternoon to you. More power. Regards to your family and everyone there in India chapter. More power. And also, Igmat Iris Utok Ubliveron chapter. Hi, JMPS 172. Good afternoon. Yes, uh, Igmat Iris, good afternoon to you. Regards sa tanang mga kaigsona na to dia sa Liberon chapter of Happy Fiesta sa Karkar City. We'll be there soon. And more power. And also, Benji is there. Good afternoon, JMPS 172 Satanan. Yes, good afternoon to you, Benji is there. More power. And also, joining with us in this live conference, Dali Santos sa Sambuanga chapter. Good afternoon, SJMPS 172 and to all the Dugukan stars. Yes, uh, good afternoon to you. Dali, ug sa Sambuanga chapter, mga panginaot ka, ang tanana, dali as kapiskay sa panglawas. More power. And also, Alma Barikit Largado. Hi, JMPS 172. Good afternoon, ug sa tanan. Uh, hello to you, Alma. More power. And also, joining with us right now, Terry Cooler. Yes, Terry, more power to you. Good afternoon, SJMPS 172. Yes, really nice to hear from you, uh, Terry. Uh, sending to you my warmest regards, love, peace, and harmony. Always uh, the, having much uh, vigor of spirit within. Uh, we are always victorious. You are always victorious in our light, in this light, in our oneness with all the stars, creating the giant waves of positive energies and helping the healing of life and nature. Mary, warmest regards. More power. And also joining with us right now, Igmat Ramon Hernais. Maayong hapon, SGM. Yes, maayong hapon kanimo do sa Manila chapter. More power. Antipulo. Uh, more power. And also Joy Beth Cabos. Good afternoon po, SGM PS 172. Yes, uh, good afternoon to you, Joy Beth Cabos. And sa lahat ng mga kaibigan natin dyan sa Malabon. More power. And a message from Terry. Thank you. Yes, Terry, you're welcome. More power. And uh, keeping up always the vigor of spirit. It means to stay always uh, healthy every day. And the sitting of the mind. If we are going to think that we are healthy, we are healthy. And if we are going to think we are sickly, uh, we are getting sick every day so that's uh, the law of attraction the law of attraction uh, thought follows energy so let's uh, begin with the development of our belief the belief will grow into powerful faith and faith will grow into soul realization and soul realization will grow into the higher and the highest foundation of life so that's why we have our ascension our ascension into higher dimension which uh, will really require us to get to know more about mysterious lies manifesting in the skies. So how essential to know mysterious lies manifesting in the skies? It's really essential because uh, that will tell us our deeper connectivity 
with nature, Divine Mother Nature, connectivity with all the stars, with all the lights, connectivity with the highest foundation of life, to the Supreme Infinite. And then the common people call it God. And that's why we have to get to know more about the mysterious lights manifesting the skies in way of doing our seven steps of inner discovery or spiritual study, seven steps of spiritual growth. And the first, we have to apply the ascension oil. And that's the ascension oil, longevity and rejuvenation, looking for the ascension of life into higher dimension. The very foundation is good health, development of body, mind, soul, and spiritual. That's why we have to, co to follow the commandments of good health, avoidance of all the kinds of destructive vices. We are not going to question our physical body with uh, poisons, toxins, day by day from the food that we eat, from the radiation poisoning. So there are two, radiation poisoning or chemical poisoning. And the third one, which is also vital, that's negative energy contamination. So let's uh, be very careful with this, uh, three things. Well, the most common is uh, chemical poisoning. Every day we are going to be contaminated with the chemicals that we are going to eat, from the food that we eat, toxins. Although it's not our intention to be uh, to be contaminated with these uh, kinds of toxins, but then because of the food that we are going to take every day, we are feeding up garbages in our physical body, throwing up garbages in our physical body in forms of toxins. And then another thing is radiation poisoning. And we cannot avoid because uh, nowadays is uh, science uh, technology advanced technology and gadgets that we are going to use should have uh, positive ions and positive ions are not the one that is uh, needed in our physical body because uh, that will result into radiation poisoning the cell phones uh, the televisions that we are going to use and all those uh, gadgets that uh, will give us uh, Radiation poisoning, so it means to say the, the pollution in the air and all those things so will give us uh, uh, toxins in our physical body in forms of chemicals or in forms of radiation poisoning. And also the third one, which is the negative energy contaminations caused by negative psychic attacks. So the Supreme Superlight Angels in the forms of mysterious lights manifesting the skies where common people describe UFOs are giving us uh, self-protection against negative energies and the self-protection is uh, we have to practice Art of Life 172 and enhance our physical body, mind, soul and spirit to receive a line added up Supreme Superlight Energies I'm talking about Supreme Superlight Energies so this kind of energy that cannot be defined into negative energy or positive energy because there is no description. Only we are going to describe it supreme super light energy for the way that we are going to discuss it. So we have an outline of our understanding about the energy that we're dealing. The same with science. Describing or talking about dark energy, dark matter because uh, this kind of energy cannot be described in the laboratory. It means to say the same with the energy right now. And then the basic foundation we have to describe energy. Negative energy, positive energy. And once we get the bigger and bigger exploration of uh, the deeper meaning of life, then we cannot describe it any longer in the negative or positive energy. Because energy is one. It is in oneness with all the stars, in oneness with all the lights. And that's why we have to get to know about angels uh, manifesting the skies in forms of mysterious lights. Therefore, the way of our ascension in the higher dimension will lead us to know the deeper meaning of light, wherein this deeper meaning of light would have bigger and the biggest relationship with the mysterious lights manifesting the sky. So it's uh, quite interesting. And that's why we have to apply the seven steps of inner discovery. But before we are going to continue our uh, topic with regards to mysterious lights manifesting the sky, so let's uh, welcome first our participants at this live conference. And joining with us right now, Brad Knight Terizo. Maayong hapon, SGMPS172. Watching you now live. Yes, uh, Brad Knight Terizo. More power to you. Sending to you my warmest regards. And regards to your family and everyone there. More power and also joining with us right now, Gino Montiliano. 
Maayong hapon, GM, o sa imong mga kauban. Yes, Gino. Maayong hapon, o sa tanang mga kaigalaan na ito dia sa Taytay Rizal. More power. And also, Gino with us, uh, Jonel Aladad. Maayong hapon, SGM PS172. Namaste. Yes, uh, namaste to you. Junil, more power. And also joining with us right now, Igmat Chimasha Restauro. Beautiful and wonderful afternoon watching in Gulordo, Cebu City chapter. We had just done our Zoom meeting and we enjoyed a lot. With the powerful and active participants, we are having a good time and we always feel and see our progress and are part of these life mission activities. Thank you. Thankful and grateful to you, SGM PS 172, for the strength and wisdom. Gordo Chapter Team of On the Go. Yes, Sigma Chima Yes, uh, really nice. And uh, keep up the viral spirit. Mabuhay kayong lahat. Yung mga dugukan stars. Wow, this is uh, actually a really nice uh, group. So, my blessings uh, and uh, asking the blessings from the Supreme Master. And then to bless uh, the group, the Dugukan stars, uh, keeping up their bigger spirit, creating the giant waves of positive energies, helping the healing of life and nature, more power. And also joining with us right now, Haligang Mayat Noynay. Good afternoon, JMPS 172. Yes, good afternoon to you, Haligang Mayat Noynay. Also joining with us, Robin, Blains, Divina, more power. Entering with dark energy and dark matter topic. Yes, uh, more power to you, Divina. Always in our oneness regards, regards to you, to your loved ones, family, more power. And also joining with us right now, Heidi. Yes, Heidi, really nice to see you. Now, Heidi, Minnesota chapter, USA, sending to you my warmest regards. I'm really glad today seeing you, Heidi, more power. And always in our oneness with all the stars. Mrs. from Heidi. Maayong hapon, SGMPS 172. So wonderful to see you and everyone with so much joy in my heart. Yes, it's uh, really nice to see you today, uh, Heidi. And good morning to you. Always in our one is with all the stars. The angels are there and there with you right now. And this uh, one is with all the stars and keeping up always the vigor of your spirit. Always in our one is with all, all the stars. And regards to you, to all the friends, uh, brothers and sisters there. In Minnesota, USA. More power. Okay, so as we go forward in our holistic art and uh, welcoming the light of the Supreme Super Light, Angels, the Supreme Master of Wisdom, in the Watch a Divine Revelation. So, all the activities that we are doing in the holistic art of the Gukan pertaining to the Watch a Divine Revelation. The Watch a Divine Revelation, bridging the Divine Radiance of the Supreme Master of Heaven in the actual activities of holistic art so we are in the private revelation so when it comes to where can we read the truth of the light of the supreme master of wisdom supreme super light angels can we read it in the bible yes we can read in the, the bible and uh, what's more about that the revelation that's private revelation because that's the teaching described in the bible the teaching of the holy spirit and that's why we are talking here more of the energies. Energies uh, are the vital foundation of everything that we are here. We are existing, the universe is existing, and everything is existing because of the energy. That's because of the Holy Spirit. From the word holy, it's sacred energy. And mysterious lights manifesting the skies would have vital function of everyone's ascension into higher dimension. And it's quite difficult to ascend life if we do not know more about energy, if we do not know more about sacred energy, in the religious term, it's described Holy Spirit. It's quite difficult if we do not understand Holy Spirit, we do not understand mysterious lights manifesting the skies. That's why today's activities in the What's the Divine Revelation, we're always talking about Supreme Super Light Angel, Supreme Master of Wisdom, Akadastar, and the Super Light Body, that's the Supreme Light Body of the Supreme infinite i'm talking of, of uh, supreme infinite this is uh, actually the highest and regardless of whatever name we believe or we call our god and that's very secret that's the reason why i am saying that we have to keep uh, uh, take good care of the lessons of the secret regardless of uh, the name that we are going to refer to the infinite God. There's uh, no problem with that. It's uh, the same as we have different languages because we're coming from the different 
nations of the world. So coming from the different nations of the world, definitely we are coming from the different languages of the world. So that's why it's uh, normal that we are going to talk more about different names of the, the God, the Lord God of heaven. And if we are not going to describe it into God, we are going to describe it the most high or the most absolute or ultimate truth. And it depends on us how we are going to describe that would refer to the name or that would refer to the very existence of the supreme source of heaven. And here comes now the revelation of the light of the supreme infinite in the actual field of inner discovery, in the actual field of private revelation. So the living book of life, in this regard, we are going to talk more about the living book of life because this is actual and private revelation wherein you have to open up the doors of the heavens deep within you. And that's uh, the teaching of the Bible, actually, if we are going to look for the biblical foundation that we have to seek first, the kingdom of God and His, right, all, uh, His righteousness and all the things shall be added unto us. So it means to say, the kingdom deep within us, deep, deep within you, the physical body is the living temple of God. The physical body is the living temple of the Holy Spirit. The physical body is the living temple of the energy, the sacred energy. And that sacred energy would have connectivities with the external force, in the internal and the external. So, deep within and uh, the external, what is there in the higher or in the higher level or what is uh, above is also below. What is in the front is also at the back. It means to say what is also in the side and also in this and others in this other side. Everything is we are one. And if we go inside, we as well go outside. So the external and the internal environment and summing up together is one. So material slice manifesting the skies, we have to get to know more about the secret of that uh, phenomenon. Because the phenomenon of uh, an identified flying object would indicate two things, actually. So that's why we have the ascension of life into higher dimension. Or also we have the ascension of life in this way by technology or by advanced spirituality. When it comes to the ascension of life by advanced technology, we are going to ascend life into higher vibrational frequency by technology and what else and then the other ascension is we are going to ascend life by advanced spirituality without the use of the technology and that's why there are two kinds of ascension ascension by technology or ascension by advanced spirituality or if we are going to use in the second uh, or, or the ascension of life in, by advanced spirituality we are going to discern the kingdom of God within you, within us. We are going to open up the doors of the heavens within us. And that pertains to our psychic channel and the physical body. So we cannot really omit the education of energy. Whether we like it or not, we cannot really omit the education of the energy, the, the education of the light of the Holy Spirit in the religious term. Because that's the ultimate truth. The ultimate truth that we are this life, we're having this life existing in the physical world because of the energy, because of the power of the Holy Spirit. And that's why, if we are going to say an identified flying objects, extraterrestrial brothers uh, coming from another planet or another stars, galaxies getting closer and would like to pass the message of helping the entire humanity to be saved from total distractions and then well that's really good because uh, the intention is quietly good to save the entire humanity from total destruction and then much good if we are going to discern the deeper meaning of this mysterious lights manifesting the skies and we are not misled along the way because technology is not really is spirituality or in spirituality the product of spirituality would be also advanced technology because higher knowledge coming from higher dimension and the result of that would be advanced technology and that's why the big difference is if 
we are misled along the way and we cannot any longer we cannot really any longer control the energies uh, within us uh, or we we can forget the energies or the higher potentials do we have from the connections of our divine function from the connection of our advanced spirituality and then possibility we might be the sleep of technology or controlled by technology or even destroyed by technology just like you look at uh, what's happening right now for the children for example keep doing working in their computer computer and without uh, uh, doing anything just uh, all the entire 24 hours doing computer works uh, playing games crossfire and how many people got crazy by doing that kind of uh, uh, habit in their lives and they don't have the, to do anything except just keep playing and playing in the computer and then radiation poisoning it damaged their brains it damaged the cells of the physical body that's because uh, they they were succumbed with such kind of uh, habit and it, it turns into destructive vices and they were uh, controlled by their belief that uh, this uh, technology uh, play of uh, this game are uh, in the computer is really beautiful it's really nice uh, that's why they're addicted with that kind of uh, games and they destroy their brains so the shame if we are not really uh, working in our activation of divine function in life we are succumb with so much blinding ignorance and many other human weaknesses we cannot really unleash or emancipate our soul's uh, power within because uh, we are uh, not uh, able to do it because we lose the value of spirituality we lose the value of our spiritual function that's the very reason why our ascension would be hindered if we do not know the truth if we are misled along the way and we're in, in this uh, function of life which way we are going to use our number of years days or years uh, in the planet in the art of life or in the art of destruction there is uh, no wrong way actually we're just describing it into the wrong path or the right path that's based on our human understanding we're in when it comes to the purpose of life to learn the lessons of life to attain soul realization then experience will teach us how we are going to realize the things that uh, will really matter in our life we can attain soul realization it could be in the hard way or it could be in the easier way when it is in the easier way so we are going to study art of life and which uh, in the hard way uh, let's forget everything and blinding ignorance and many other human weaknesses and we can be influenced by destructive vices actually no matter no big deal because uh, we're not looking for the salvation of life only that we are going to suffer our physical body especially during the time that we suffer illness out of the wrong activities that we are doing questioning our physical body every day so that's why let's be careful with the living temple of God which so let's take good care of the living temple of God and that's actually your physical body um, let's get to know more about the meaning of mysterious lights manifesting the sky so that's why we have now the book of Dogokan so people can begin your lessons of art of life 172 that art of life 172 is angels contact and connection whenever the time that you are going to perform art of life and then you can expand your connectivity your spiritual awareness to activate your divine connection with angels of the most high and then the opportunity that you can see the presence of mysterious lights manifesting the skies by doing your art of life 172 so welcome everyone in this live conference and before we are going to continue and joining with us right now Haligeng Arthur Hernais Mayong Hapon SGMPS 172 Ogsatanan from Karaatan Chapter Yes, uh, may kanimo kanimu Haligeng Arthur Ogsatanan mga Dugukan Stars sa uh, Karaatan Chapter More Power And also joining with us in this live conference uh, uh, Maribik Mrs. from Maribik Amit Brami Maribik replied to Igmad Jamaisa message Wow, I wasn't able to join. My dream never let me wake up. 
as I had a dream of working some malapalasyong office and working on white and red papers. <laughs> really nice. Uh... Uh, really nice uh, to hear from you, Marivik. Yes, you are busy in your activities in the inner side. So, your work still working in your spiritual function. More power. Uh, really nice in regards uh, to, to your family and everyone there in the chapter. And also, Marivik. Uh, yes, uh, Marisol Avancina Villegas. Canlaon City Negros Occidental. Good afternoon, SGMPS 172. My second day today, I'm home and I feel good on doing light mission activities in whatever way I can. Regards and hello to everyone. Yes, Marisol, more power to you. Uh, regards sa uh, tanang mga kaigalaan dia sa Canlaon City. More power. And also, Matthew Mu. Thank you for all you do. You're welcome, Matthew. Matthew, uh, really more nice regards to you, Matthew. And also, joining with us right now, yes, Anne. Uh, Good afternoon, SGMPS 172. Watching you at Bethlehem, the Paradise Chapter, Maravilla, Tabela, Northern Cebu. Yes, Anne, regards to you, and really nice to see you in this live conference. Uh, uh, yes, uh, see you soon. Anha media unya. Nakarod lang kay nami mga. Importante yun kayo yung mga kalihukan. Ano nga, uh, wala pata ka di siyo di Pero mga na video sa uh, kuhan sa Bethlehem. Uh, very, very soon, more power. Regards to you, sa tanan ng itong mga kaiksunan dia. Northern part of Cebu. More power. Ano so, joining with us right now, Remy Boy, sa ito, Arisigado, macho. Maayong hapon, JMPS 172. Yes, uh, Remy Boy. Maayong hapon, o more power. And also, Isigani Panginahog. Matan Isigani. Good afternoon, SJMPS 172. Yes, good afternoon to you. Matan Isigani sa Sandayong Chapter. And yes, now, Mariam Hira. Maayong hapon, Filipinas. Maayong hapon po, Sir JM. Live in Toronto, Ontario. Thankful for today. Everything was in good timing. Yes, uh, Mariam, more power and sending to you my warmest regards and energy. Always in our oneness with all the stars. In regards to your family also, Sa Leyte, more power. And uh, someday we can visit Sa Leyte, more power. Okay, message from Mariam. My family in Leyte is listening and will join the healing pool. Thank you so much. Yes, uh, Mariam. And also Salmea. Maayong hapon, JMPS 172 Satanan. Yes, Salmea, Gamutan. More power. Sending to you my warmest regards. And also joining with us right now, Mat Ancheril Kihano. Yes, Mat Ancheril Kihano. Message from Mat Ancheril. Today is inner cultivation. So after sunset, and then we can get back to the usual exercise uh, eating our meal. And after sun, uh, after sunset, okay. So more power, everyone. Good afternoon, SJMPS one seven two. Happy and grateful watching and listening your live broadcast here at Gurudu Cebu City Chapter. Done doing healut healing with my patients. So much happy to share my energy and helping many of life. Thank you, JMPS one seven two, for the guidance of many lessons. Yes, uh, Madam Cheryl, Kiano, more power to you. Always in our one is with all the stars. And also from Matthew. Matthew. Okay. Thank you for all you do. Need assistance with my relationships, my housing, and the holiday. You're welcome, Matthew. More power. Always in our one is with all the stars. And the blessings of the Supreme Master of Heaven or the Almighty God of Heaven will give us more vigor of spirit and will heal every problem in our lives so long as we are going to receive a line added up the blessings of the holy spirit the blessings of the supreme super light angels so when i'm talking about supreme super light angels when in the best translation for supreme super light angels sacred energy sacred the energy that refers to the holy spirit so that's why the watch a divine revelation the teaching of watch a divine revelation is holistic art and it deals about holy spirit so we are in the private revelation 
So, private revelation, we are going to talk more about the living book of life. So, that's why we are going to explain what's energy. We have basically, we have vital force in the physical body, then the mechanism of the Holy Spirit to really work out in our life. And then we have to activate the channels of our energies, the channels of the Holy Spirit in the physical body that pertaining to the seven energy centers in the physical body wherein it has also sub-centers in the physical body. We are going to activate our divine connection with divine mother nature, with all the lights, with all the stars, and with all the things, with all the energies, with the Holy Spirit, with the Supreme Infinite. So, this is oneness with all the stars. This is uh, oneness. And in the healing that we are going to practice is divine healing. That's the power of uh, Divine Mother Nature, the power of the Supreme Infinite to heal us. As I'm saying, we cannot really complete if we are going to isolate this one. Uh, we cannot uh, complete the healing of our physical body without resorting the power of the Holy Spirit, the power of the Supreme Infinite, or the energy in our physical body. So we are going to call this divine healing. And in the divine healing, it's already included in the package, the material, the spiritual, all these things. Spiritual, material, material, spiritual. And then in the material, we have the system of the healing, the education of the healing. So that's why if we have problems in our physical body, we do not surrender into illnesses. That's why we are going to practice and enhance our spiritual martial arts and the art of survival. So we can topple down our illnesses, our weaknesses in our physical body. And we are going to complete it because we are going to discern that we cannot only deal the physical body because we are not just only composed of physical body basically we are body mind soul and spirit in the soul level we have different needs in the soul level in the energy side because uh, we are not actually needing vitamins minerals in the energy side in the soul level we are needing substantive energy substantive force of the holy spirit we need in our soul level so that's why we are going to feed up as well substantive energies for our soul for the vehicle of the soul which is energy body light body and that kind of energy we need from the advanced elemental foundation so the what's a divine revelation is talking about advanced elemental foundation so what's the best example of advanced elemental foundation as i am saying that if we are going to talk more about angels and we are actually familiar with angels in the name of Archangel Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Uriel, Sitil, Barakil, Metatron, or which angel or uh, what are kind of angels or the names of the angels that you have ever known and then that refers to the advanced elemental foundation. There are kinds of angels that can get closer with the humans and humans will not be burned by consuming fire nature of God. That's because they are in that kind of uh, foundation of life. They are immortals, very powerful beyond imagination. So if we are going to imagine that angels would have wings because they are going to fly, and then there's no problem with that because angels can manifest in any form so long as they want to manifest in that particular form. So, and they don't have also wings and they are really capable because they are really powerful beyond our imagination and so that's the basic understanding of advanced elemental foundation angels in that sort of light they can get closer with the humans without causing the humans to be burned by fire because uh, they are not consuming fire nature yes of course they can consume as well if they would like to do it because they are really powerful beyond our human energy human imagination that's the very reason why if we are going to look at the speed of the angels, and then I'm saying that we can gauge the speed of the angels because they are really capable to transport themselves without traversing the space in between. It means to say they are, not, uh, they are capable to travel or to reach anywhere 
without the use of speed they are going to teleport this uh, the actually the power and that's a really simple thing to do by the angels in that kind of uh, category and if we are going to say supreme super light and then that's the highest level we're in we're just only trying to describe it into the highest level we're in, in really in particular we cannot really gauge or assess uh, how powerful that kind of angel because that's really beyond any language to explain and then for the sake of this uh, explanation so we are going to describe it the highest or the beyond and so that's the kind of angel described in the bible consuming fire nature of god that will consume anything carbon life foundation so that's why in the bible if you are going to read the bible and especially in the Deuteronomy, it's said there that uh, the Lord God of uh, heaven, the Lord is a consuming fire. Or ang ginoo nga imong Diyos sa kakalayong makasunog. And that's it. Consuming fire nature. And that's the characteristic, one of the characteristics of the infinite God. The supreme infinite is a consuming fire nature. So that's why in discerning the uh, message, in discerning the love of God, we need wisdom. Because imagine yourself, and then in the final day or describe also in the religious term final judgment day wherein the god will reveal the real nature of his divine radiance and then with that revelation of the true divine radiance of the most infinite or the supreme god or the supreme infinite everything shall be burned because of that so how could you account the presence of god that will burn up everything that can be exposed to that uh, real light of the divine radiance of God because that's supreme super light and it's illustrated in the accounts also if you are going to refer in the biblical foundation there is there there are accounts there that really truly God is a consuming fire so this one thing that we should realize how we are going to discern the divine love of God are we just because uh, we are sinners then we go to hell and uh, we, because we are good and we go to heaven these are the things that we are thinking if we are not really going deeper the deeper meaning of the nature of the supreme infinite so the what's the divine revelation we're talking here mysterious lights manifesting the skies and we are not going to describe them identify flying objects is the artificial brothers because we are not in that uh, actually we are not in that uh, information talking about unidentified flying objects we are talking about mysterious lights the presence of the angels of the most high in the form of this uh, light mysterious lights and there is the corresponding lesson the inner study lesson the secret is spiritual secret and that's uh, the lesson that's why the seven steps of inner discovery or spiritual growth first ascension of well, longevity and rejuvenation they could care of the living temple of God, the living temple of the Holy Spirit, which is your physical body. And second, visiting at the site for the lightship initiation. And the lightship initiation is activation of your divine connection with the supreme master of wisdom, with the supreme superlight angels, and this bridging of divine radiance, the what's a divine revelation. Because you are going into a bigger light. You are going into a bigger light wherein you are a foundation star. You're not any longer a star seed because you are growing into a bigger star. Star seeds from the word seeds, lives coming from the stars. And then after that, growing into a bigger light because you are really growing. You have your realization for the things that will really matter in your life, activating your divine correction in life, and then you are a foundation star. So the site would be the entire universe, the entire cosmos. So the healing that you are going to participate is not just only the healing of life for the entire planet it's the healing for the entire cosmos so you have your oneness therefore with the angels of the most high because angels of the most high they are in the entire universe in the entire cosmos so wherever you are in the planet wherever you are either we are humans here in the planet we are souls in the astral dimensions and we are aliens in some other planets or extraterrestrial beings and then we are always having our oneness with all the stars and there is always the presence of mysterious lights 
there is always the presence of the supreme super light angels because the nature of God described in the Bible, the nature of God is present everywhere, omnipresence, all-knowing, and the most powerful. Everything is there. That's why it's perfect. And how are we going to discern the perfect, the the uh, nature of uh, God, which is truly perfect? So if it is truly perfect, and then the mind is not perfect, and how are we going to discern it? When it comes to the illusions of the world, when it comes to the planes of existence and the multidimensional level of existence, then our mind would be perfect because the infinite God would not create things which are imperfect. So we are as well perfect. Only that up to this level of existence, we are fit because we are still growing. And then once we are growing into a bigger light, and then we are fit in that kind of perfection. So that's why our ascension into the level of this existence from minor into advanced, and to the high advance so we have the foundation of vital truth of life that we have to realize or in we're in that will open up our final ascension into higher dimension so that's why now here you are the book of the Wukan why we are, you are the book of the Wukan because the what's a divine revelation you have to account what's what's a divine revelation revealing the mysterious lies manifesting the skies and in the actual field of inner discovery, private revelation. So take good care of your lessons, your experience, and put it in the piece of paper. Put it, put it in, the, in the living book of life. You are practicing longevity and rejuvenation. Why? Because you are looking for the eternal salvation of life, wherein you do not know you are looking for that. Only the soul is looking for that. And then if we are going to say yes, I'm looking for that by heart. I am looking for the salvation of life. And I am looking for eternal salvation of life. I'm looking for my ascension into higher dimension. And that's a practice of longevity and rejuvenation on its lower level. And then as its higher level, that's a practice of immortality. Or in you cannot you cannot deny the fact, we cannot deny the fact that if the time that we are going to decide that we are going to work for our life salvation, we are working for our eternal salvation, eternal life. That's the practice of immortality. Only there, there it differs on the term where we are going to use. And if we are in the religious term, we are going to use eternal salvation of life. And then if we are in a watch of divine revelation, we are going to use ascension of life in the higher dimension. And that's the practice of immortality. Is it possible that we can become, we can achieve immortality in our lives? Uh, yes, definitely. It is really possible, without doubt. Is it there already the accounts or evidence that people become or turned into immortals? Uh, yes, uh, there is. And there are accounts of that. And then Enoch Sefer, for example, ascended into the heavens riding the fiery chariot of God. He did not meet death experience death because of being righteous and it up to the point was the reason or was uh, uh, the reasons that uh, uh, made uh, Enoch uh, righteous and uh, turned out to be the reason why he ascended into the heavens without experiencing death and that's because uh, he knew vital secret of life and that's why we are now given the opportunity by the Lord God of heaven the Supreme Master of Heaven to get to know more about the deeper meaning of life, the secret of mysterious lies manifesting the skies, and to get to know more about the deeper meaning of our lives, getting knowing about ourselves, know thyself in the actual lesson of private revelation. And that's taking up or reading up the book of life. You have your book of life. Okay, before we are going to continue our live conference, uh, we'll, let's welcome the participants, our brothers and sisters joining in this live conference. And Mrs. Fram Ann. Waiting for you all, SGMPS 172. Yes, Ann, more power to you. Always in our one is with all the stars. Have them, have them, Ray. Have have Yes, uh, more power to you. Have them, have them, Ray. And also Mika Shin. Good afternoon, GM. Ang among guardian angel of spiritual master kay gikan na sila sa Supreme Superlight Foundation or Advanced Elemental po. 
Ang guardian angel, you have your guardian angel in the Advanced Elemental Foundation. And then you have your guardian angel as well in the Three Star Supreme Super Light Formation. And that's uh, the Supreme Super Light Angels Foundation. So it's both. So that's why the physical body would have divine connection with the Advanced Elemental Foundation. And then the highest level, we're in beyond, actually the highest, it's beyond. So from the word beyond, so it's beyond the highest. And then we don't have any other option. We just uh, describe it into the highest. That's uh, refers to the Supreme Super Light Formation. The Supreme Super Light Foundation. Uh, more power to you, Mika Shane. Okay, Mrs. Being, from Mika. Being immortal, Bajim, kay naasab giatubang ang dako ng responsibility. Yes, the responsibility of the immortals uh, depends on the sectors wherein they are really belong on sa ilang formation. Uh, angels sila on sa ilang mga formation nga kining ilahang nga gisubay. So, everything has the responsibility. Everybody has the responsibility. Yeah, we are humans having responsibilities. Angels would have also their responsibilities because they have their own assignments and lives. And it's quite a big difference between the minor formation of the creation and the supreme foundation of the creations and the creators as well. So that's why really nice and uh, interesting to get to know the deeper side of uh, the spiritual life. The spiritual life we're in the vastness of the universe, the infiniteness of knowledge, we are going to explore our awareness and realize our souls. Really nice. And Mika Shin, more power. And then Mrs. Fra Mika Shin. Is it possible na we as human is mahimong God or Goddess? Uh, yes, in fact, many people are saying that they are gods and God Goddesses. And they are humans, uh, human gods. It's uh, beautiful. And uh, that's why for smaller forms of lives, and then that could be true. And humans are also gods and the goddesses. And when it comes to bigger power, so that's why if you are an angel, for example, or you are an immortal, you would not say uh, God because you have your different term for that. And that's why we humans are talking about gods and the goddesses, and there are so many gods, and also gods would have many problems in their lives. And that's why imagine yourself that you are God and the, the best way uh, uh, maybe the problems of uh, human gods are the problems of the world and then if the higher forms of gods and then the problems of the world are easy because the small the world is just a small piece of uh, cake uh, so pancake it's just a tiny part of the reality because they are bigger gods so the word guards, it depends on our concepts and how we are going to define the word God in our lives. Yes, uh, more power. Very nice question for you. Mika Shen. So I will not offend to the believers of gods. Gods are sacreds. And if we are talking about supreme infinite God, and that's the most sacred because uh, we cannot really blaspheme the name of God. And then, if we are humans uh, thinking that we are gods and the goddesses, especially if you have the authority, you can do it. And that's why there's uh, no problem with that. And humans are really higher elements. And we have divine connection with the most infinite. That's why we are children of God. And how are we going to call for the children of God if we are children of God? So, if you have your children and you are human, so your children also are humans. It would not be dogs because you are humans. So if we are children of God, so therefore, we could be also likened. We could be also that like kind of category. We are not puppies because we are children of God. And only that the thing that we are going to adhere, we must know the light of the infinite truth and becomes, uh, become obedient to the will of heaven because the supreme infinite God would like us to be blissful in life, would never like us to be destroyed by blinding ignorance and so much human weakness. So we can really ascend our lives into higher dimension. So that's why when talking about higher dimension, where are we going to ascend in higher dimension? 
Are we going to ascend into another planet? Are we going to ascend into uh, to the Mars or to the Moon or to the another planet wherein we are going to survive there? And it's uh, quietly impossible because uh, the ascension of life is different. We are going to talk here ascension of life in the higher dimension. Why is it impossible that everything now could be possible by science and technology? Because we're talking about life beyond multidimensional level of existence. We're in that kind of plane of existence beyond the reality of the planets and stars, beyond the reality of space and time. So it could be quite impossible if we are going to ascend life into another planets. And actually, if we are going to ascend, visiting another planet, that's because we are at the level of the advanced technology, so advanced, capable to do that. And that's actually not the precise ascension we're talking in the Watch the Divine Revelation. Okay, now, Divina Rubens Blaine. Message from Divina. There are dogs and animals. Is there God or the dogs and animals that they can worship who has the image image saying to them there are dogs and animals is there gods of the dogs and, and animals, animals that they can animals. worship who has the image same to them <laughs> it's quite a different when we are going to talk about humans we on beings we have the higher elements we have the higher divine connection with the angels of the most high in the evolution of life, we are already humans wherein we have angels character as well. That's why we are having our advanced elemental foundation and supreme super light foundation. And when it comes to the dogs, they don't have that kind of divine connection. They are always in the instinct. So, uh, they are pleasant creature. And then they cannot be compared with the uh, humans because humans at the higher, at the level of uh, l the evolution of life, Really, humans uh, having divine connection, powerful divine connection, because we have higher advanced elemental connected bodies. So as I'm saying that at present life evolution, we are nine advanced elemental bodies, and the dogs would not have that kind of div divine connection. So if you are going to travel in the astral dimension, then there, if you have your favorite dog, and then you can see your dog in the astral dimension, because uh, it has also astral body, but not necessarily advanced elemental foundation. So that's why this is an indication that when we are going to say advanced elemental foundation and beyond, uh, that is beyond multidimensional level of existence, it's very clear that humans are really high in this uh, compared to any other forms of lives in the animal kingdom. And that's why that's uh, the big difference and then we do not know the mind of the dog if the dog would uh, say uh, they are going to call their master as a god because if you are if you have your dog and then the most favorite dogs and you take good care of your dog then you could be the gods of your dog and that's it and more power and then divina gods of the witches <laughs> gods of the witches that's why gods of the winds, uh, gods of the air, and gods of the animals, and then uh, so many gods. And that's why uh, there are problems of uh, the world if we do not understand uh, the, the final lesson in our lives, which is ascension of life in the higher dimension. So that's why in the book of Dugokan, it's there that someday or the time shall come that people will not any longer adhere to the value of spirituality because uh, they believe that they could be likened to the gods because of the advanced technology and everything is uh, achievable by the power of advanced technology because uh, that's uh, the level of understanding in the third dimension and then the advances of science and technology is uh, quietly really high by this time because of the release of the advanced information coming the, from the higher dimension. So let's get to know more about mysterious lights manifesting the skies and begin soul realization. And then the third exercise for the seven steps, we have done the ascension oil, then visiting at the site, and then the entire planet would be the site 
of the Supreme Master, the entire cosmos, and then we can take our lightship initiation. And the third one is also very interesting, and that is your conscious astral travel. Your fundamental of spiritual study, regardless of your belief, if you are in the philosophy or in the religion or in the occult science and uh, or science, eh, no problem with that because you yourself is the real you. So, when you are going to depend on which branch of education you are going to adapt in your life, and then there's no problem with that because the only thing that is uh, real is the you. You are the you, real, genuine by nature. So, regardless of your education, and then that's still you. And then you can be defined according to the level of your awareness, the level of our understanding. So, no problem with that. We cannot force ourselves to really, in this uh, category, to really in this uh, description of our lives, because that's what we are. And then, that's why, do your conscious astral travel or advance oh no the fundamental of your spiritual study and then after enhancing your fundamental of spiritual study you can uh, go advance because you can activate your advanced divine connection advanced elemental foundation and more of the information of the elemental advanced elemental foundation uh, really they're working in your physical body there is gradual transformation there is always gradual transformation happening within and then uh, people call it DNA activation and then that's really activation of your advanced elemental foundation and prior to your activations uh, final activations of your supreme super light energies so the activation of the advanced elemental foundation is really vital so that we can we can Receive a line that adapt supreme super light energies, wherein that kind of energies are not really, are not really, uh, the physical body could not adjust it without the activation first of the advanced elemental foundation, because uh, that's kind of energy not fit to the carbon life foundation. So that's the reason why as well that more of the energies in the physical body advanced information of divine connection are dormant because it is dormant for the very reason that the physical body because carbon life foundation cells would have to adjust would need training as well so that as time will go and it is capable to adjust with that kind of energy because it will be uh, it will adjust by the training of your physical body and that's the potential of the cell it will adjust to the internal and the external environment and depending on your feed up of that kind of energy if you are going to feed up your energy uh, the energy for the cells uh, this kind of vibration and then the cell will adjust and if you are going also to feed up your cell with higher energy then the cell will adjust so until the frequency, the minor vibrational frequency of the cell is um, capable enough to adjust that kind of uh, energy which is supreme by nature and then the activation will go on. So that's why I'm saying and the Watch the Divine Revelation we are saying, explaining that the gradual transformation, gradual transformation is not right away because the cell will need to adjust and the reason why every day doing art of life fun 72 is really vital because it will work out for your gradual transformation of your minor vibrational frequency into higher vibrational frequency and the lesson is simple very simple lesson because we have to do only the forms and gestures of the art of life 172 when they also the applications of the thought follows energy align receive align and adapt and that's the way how you are going to receive align and adapt more power everyone and also yes uh, mrs from mika shane the gods and goddesses worship by witches is from black star formation over the air is there foods or uh, where is it the gods and the goddesses to worship by which is uh, from Black Star Formation, Puba GM. And uh, <laughs> the question is quietly simple but difficult to answer. And that's why I will not answer your question. 
and just leave it to your inner discovery. And more power, Mika Shane. Okay, and uh, yes, more from Mika Shane. Is there foods or activity, activities po ba na nagpapastop, nagpapahina, nagpapabagal ng spiritual growth, GM? Yes, definitely. Ang daming mga pagkain na uh, naging cause na bumabagal itong mga activation, nagpapahina sa ating spiritual growth. Yeah, that's why the holistic art, if you are going to develop your body, mind, soul, and spirit, basically, the food that you eat, yan, malaking contribution yan, the food that you eat. So, more power, make a chain. Okay, so, in few minutes from now, we are going to begin the distant divine energy healing. So, prepare your glass of water. So, we are going to include the blessings of that water. And then I'm saying that the mysterious lies manifesting the skies anywhere in the world. And then so long as you are enhanced with your angels' contacts and connection, then you cannot be really misled in your journey of life. Because when it comes to the any other definitions of uh, the light of the truth, and then everything is uh, one. Only that we are delayed of our time. So there is no... Big mistake, actually, if even if we are uh, in this uh, walk of life. Because after all the realization, because of the experience that the soul will undergo, and then the soul later on or sooner will realize that it needs to be emancipated from the burdens of this illusion so it can soar up into the higher level of existence. Because... Pains and sufferings of life, by the way, are not really good. The soul is uh, being tortured deep within all the time. The very reason why we are going to escape, we are going to freed, uh, to be freed from that kind of illusions of the world. Or, and we could say, uh, everything is illusion. Yes, everything is illusion. And the big problem, the illusion is reality because we are being part of that illusion. Unless we are not being part of that illusion and then we are not uh, susceptible, vulnerable with that kind of illusions. We don't have that kind of sorrows, pains, sufferings in the world. But because we are still existing in the physical world and the illusions of the world, then everything is true. Experience our, we are experiencing this kind of reality in our lives. So let's get to know more about the deeper meaning of our lives. So let's get to know more about mysterious lights manifesting the skies. So if we are describing unidentified flying objects and then we have uh, eagerness to get to know more about the meaning of these mysterious lights, and then it's time for you to begin your Art of Life 172. Why Art of Life 172? Because there are the corresponding lessons that will unveil to you the circuit of life, wherein you are not going to read it in the books and lessen the information with some other sources and then it's quietly private revelation wherein you yourself will have the opportunity to read the living book of life because the answer cannot be found in any text that you can read in the surface of the land why because it's there in the living book of life it's there in the inner side so you have to Go to, to you have to go to the library the library of life where is it in the temple of God so where is the temple of God It's there in your inner side so if we want knowledge and we can go to the library we can go to the universities we are going to study our academic schooling and then we can have our knowledge informations uh, we read the uh, internet and every information that we would like to know we can get there because uh, it's available but when it comes to the deeper meaning of life and then that's something you have to look for your library deep within that is the living book of life so you have to get to know mysterious lies manifesting the skies and why because all the rest lessons will be available for you. So you have to do your conscious as a travel or fundamental of your spiritual study. And until you can connect with the advanced spiritual study. 
So be guided, be able to listen the voices deep within and how you are going to listen the voice of the Supreme Infinite. It's by shutting down your five senses. And that's why when you do your meditation, you have to empty your mind. And why are you going to empty your mind? Is it possible that when we empty our mind, then bad spirits will come in and to possess our physical body? And that's not the way, that's not actually the precise way. Never that the bad spirits can possess your physical body because when they get closer with your physical body, your energy field is quietly strong and it will consume all kinds of bad spirits. So bad spirits are really afraid. And then what about emptying your mind without knowing the secret? And then bad spirits will come in because <laughs> there's no consuming fire nature in your physical body. So that's there the danger of your uh, fears. You have your fears. And uh, I'm not talking about uh, someone. It is actually in the general that whenever the time we have fears, then bad spirits are there present in our surroundings. Always available whenever the time there is opening. And once we are going to empty the mind, there is opening. And then once we are going to empty the mind and with the Supreme Superlight Foundation, Advanced Elemental Foundation, there is no opening for the negative spirits, for the bad elementals, only for higher knowledge because you are activating your divine function of life and then that's there you can get inside your library deep within. So you can access your living book of life. And that's the function why you should get to know more about Mysterious Lives Manifesting the Skies and now is uh, the big opportunity given by the Supreme Master of Heaven because there is a question there in the book. Is it really that the teacher of Art of Life 172 will undergo lightship initiation? The answer for that is yes. And then, what's the function? What's the purpose for authority to teach lessons of angels' contacts and connection? And then another question is, is it really that uh, what if the the person practicing Art of Life 172 without undergoing lightship initiation then would teach lessons of Art of Life 172. Is it really uh, authorized? Yeah, yes, I'm saying yes because Art of Life also is the actual movement of your physical body. Wherein you can teach the lessons on the external side and then the physical fitness side. And then after passing the lightship initiation, you can go deeper side. Wherein you can endorse someone into the study of spiritual foundation because you can have that authority and wherein you can endorse someone this someone is uh, going to study in the circuit of spiritual secret so uh, kindly supreme master of wisdom bless him then i will endorse him for a spiritual study and then that's it that's for the reason of authority and wherein, if you are going to teach the lessons of Art of Life 170 without first passing the Lightship Initiation, and that's really good, because even without yet passing the Lightship Initiation or undertaking the Lightship Initiation, you are already doing your job as a light worker that will assert the ascension of life of the people into higher dimension, and that's really good job, good deeds you can offer to the service of light. So whenever the time you have your lessons of Art of Life 172, do it, spread it, and help your brothers and sisters read off their problems in their physical body, hypertensions, and yes, hypertensions, because if you lack of your exercise, you would have the problems of your, of your uh, physical body, the blockages or low pump in the heart, and uh, our blockages in your energy tunnels, or the blood vessels, clog ups, thrombosis, and all those things pertaining to the weakening of the physical body because of the lack of exercise. And if you are going to train your physical body with the best exercise, internal energy cultivation, and it's the art of life. And it's really good exercise wherein you can help your brothers and your sisters. This is the very reason why. Why mysterious lights manifesting the skies that we should be well acquainted with that kind of light. Because it links to the very vital information of our very own lives so not really the the say the thing that we are going to say aliens because aliens are like us if we are going to visit the 
planets we're in not in this planet and if there are civilization there in some other planets then we could be aliens in their planets and we could be uh, considered higher beings because by technology we are reaching some other planets and this is the same if there are also higher beings or uh, people civilizations from another planet visiting our planet and then they could be considered as well higher beings because how they could come here if they don't uh, if they are not higher beings so that's uh, the thing the equilibrium of life we are reaching there because that's the level of our awareness and then we are talking about the living book of life we're in the deeper meaning of our lives we're in that's actually really linked with the mysterious lights manifesting the skies and then if you have begun your exploration of your awareness uh, connecting your consciousness with the mysterious lights manifesting the skies and that that re is actually really good and then that's actually the crucial time for your soul realization crucial time of your soul realization because i'm saying not all lights manifesting the skies are supreme super light because you can see it by your naked eyes and everything that can see that you can see by your eyes and then that could be subject as well to illusions and we should be able to discern what's uh, higher illusions and what's minor illusions and what's real or light of the infinite truth of absolute truth and that's why uh, more interesting really interesting about discerning the deeper meaning of our lives and life is really wonderful if we, we really open up our hearts and our minds to the deeper meaning of our soul realization so mojo is joining with us Mayung hapon, Jim. yes uh, abdik jo more power and also divina robins blaine shutting down the five senses how about the sense of breath we can survive few minutes of no air yes uh, the five senses then the breathing is different because uh, the physical body would need oxygen and then if we have the oxygen so we really need the breath to oxygenate the cells of our physical body so we cannot shut the breathing only the five senses we are going to shut it down and then higher knowledge will come in because you're not any longer using your five senses you're shooting your you're using your, the beyond the five senses and that's it that's the meaning of uh, what i mean of shutting out your uh, shutting up your five senses uh, when you are going to focus on your higher spirituality so that higher knowledge will come in and then divina do you mean living book of life the akasha yes yeah that's it the, the akashic record or the living book of life the akasha yes divina more power Okay, I'm thinking right now is uh, it's time to begin our distant energy healing because right after this live conference uh, we have to travel again. Okay, so I am uh, hoping that uh, you already have your glass of water and that uh, until the next time we have to talk more about mysterious lights manifesting the skies because quietly interesting about mysterious lights and then the connections your connections with the gods your connections with the angels your connection with the most infinite supreme infinite almighty most high okay let's begin the energy healing right now all you have to do is just to connect with my hands and i'm requesting the blessings of the supreme master of heaven bridging the divine radiance of the most infinite supreme super light angels holy infinite to give you the blessings of healing and you will be healed of whatever kind of illnesses do you have in your life so receive a line and adapt connect the bridging of the divine radiance of the supreme master of heaven for divine healing
Okay, pick up your glass of water and we are going to send to you the blessings for your water to make us water living water of life that can cleanse up negative energy contaminations and can heal illnesses. You can drink your water and this or another thing for anybody to become energy healer divine healer this connection is for you you can connect and you will have your divine connection for energy healing and for all the practitioners this divine connection to enhance your divine healing you can connect is done. So, atong pasalamat sa labang mga home, Supreme Master of Heaven, Supreme Super Light, Angels, Soul, Infinite, Afrida, Blessings of the Divine Guidance, the Divine Healing that everyone is experiencing in this live conference. Thank you, Supreme Master of Heaven, for the blessings. And welcome again in this uh, one is of uh, uh, all the heaven stars, and more power and really nice uh, that I see you everyone here today in this live conference and do not forget do not forget the holistic art the applications of your seven steps of inner discovery or spiritual martial arts and it is the art of survival the application of art of life 172 in your life and we have the seven steps uh, I was uh, not able to finish enumerating the seven steps because of our uh, definitions or discussions of the seven steps. I am thinking that everybody is already by this time, as uh, you are following the discussions of the holistic art of the Dibukan, you are already memorizing the seven steps of the holistic art of the Dibukan. Yes, uh, before we are going to close this live conference, Gina, Alisna. Mayo hapon, GM. Yes, uh, Janet. Yes, more power. Regards to you, Janet. More power. And always uh, the half the vigor of your spirit. And this oneness with all the stars. And also, yes, and. Wala na ko nakakita sa ba na mga participants natin dito sa ating live conference. And then, of course. Uh, mamiss na natin itong ibang mga mga brothers and sisters natin joining in our live conference and then uh, in a way we are having our connections and then and the spirit we are present in this uh, conference wherever you are and uh, and uh, measure your slice manifesting the skies are permanent and if you have your lessons of art of life 172 begin enhancing your realization about mysterious lies because in every endeavor towards ascension of life into higher dimension even before the the many histories of time and the entire planet and in the entire universe 
and the entire cosmos when we come to the point of the ascension of life into higher dimension there is no exemption there is always the length of mysterious lights manifesting the skies okay so more power wherever you are always in this one is with all the stars always bring with you the love peace and harmony of the supreme master of heaven supreme super light and the holy infinita hasta la vista